This is CJ's Dream Garage. In this video, we'll be looking at two Alfa Romeo Giulia GTM models by Salido and Otto. The Otto is on the right, the Salido is on the left, and here's our first look at the Otto. Uh, closer here is actually higher uh, than the Salido model. They're both in 118 scale, but because the Otto has um, a higher uh, tire, um, thicker, it uh, makes it look taller and overall maybe the body as well. Um, this one has no sober engineering on that black panel at the bottom. Uh, my one in metallic green and white does have by auto. Um, on the back here you can see the difference between the tail lights. The tail lights are much more distinguished and nuanced and much more clear um, on the left one by auto and also the chrome exhaust pipes. Um, other than that, they both have the same GTM license plate, um, the Alfa Romeo badge in the middle, the amazing spoiler at the back as well, and the diffuser underneath. On the side profile of the Salido, you can see they, they do have Sauber engineering on the back piece right in front of that back tire. And these are much more low profile tires, so it sits the car much lower. Um, both companies do a great job of the quadrifolio badge just above that vent and I love the on both of them that Aggressive line from that vent coming behind the tire Here you can see both have tow cables the one on the left has a more distinct arrow It's a larger arrow and brighter red ho hook and both have uh, printing on the splitter at the front um, this is meaning it's only for race day only or racetrack only and both did a very good job of the grill and the intakes below the auto does have some silver kind of mesh underneath the taillight uh, to the words the outside which is a little bit different from the Salido as you'll see on the side profile here in the front windshield of the auto uh, they went for kind of an opaque glass look which on the real uh, GTAM, they actually have plexiglass to save on weight, so it makes it look kind of cloudy or milky in these images here. And the back window is much more tinted on the auto. You can barely see the roll cage inside. And here you can also see that the Salido has the defrost lines on the back window, which are much more distinctive, and you can see much more into to see that roll bar and the other features inside of the Salido model. The lights below the tail lights on the back there um, are a plastic look and look more authentic perhaps than the auto as well. And you can see here from the side profile that the doors um, on the Salido, the front door is actually open. And the Salido also has this um, amazing Sabelt harness system uh, for racing seat belts. You can see it's much more clear and the window's not as opaque or milky as the auto. And you can see so much more detail on the seat belts coming through those holsters. And it has a Sable brand on it in black print but with a yellow rectangle box. And it's uh, Sable's printed vertically. And then the seat belts themselves are red so it really stands out. Both of them did a great job of the paint job. Um, the auto is a probably a little bit more candy apple red um, and more glossy But the Salido um, looks just as awesome and stealthy in its color as well uh, The auto on the top um, only painted a gloss black So there's no carbon fiber print look on it Whereas the Salido made an attempt um, But it's not as good as say the Barago 118 scale um, Which with the number 99 on it it has a really good carbon fiber print roof. But here you can see that distinctive defrost back window. And so on the Salido again, all that opens is the front doors, um, but also the tires um, or the front wheels actually turn as well. Whereas the Auto, none of the doors open and no tires turn at all. So this is a good angle to understand um, just as well how the Auto has a wider vent on the hood, uh, two vents um, to the outside of the hood, just on the inside of that rim. Um, so it's yeah, more narrow on the Salido and, and wider on the Auto. 
Both do a good job of the mirrors with the Italian colors on it. I think the Salito one does a better job of the carbon fiber look. And both of them have for racetrack only printed on the splitter. Um, this shows the door opening and the tires turning or the wheels turning on the Salito uh, to give a beautiful view into that interior, which is a stunning interior. It even has GTAM in red printed on the dash and has stitching you can see into as well all around the seats and the dash and even the gear shift and the center column as well. So hopefully this gives you a good sense of the differences between the Auto and the Salido 118 scale Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA AM. Thanks for watching.